Hello everyone, my name is Majime and I'm gonna show you how you can create your own custom models for your Minecraft world. Maybe you feel a bit magical and want a wizard head to do some magic or you want to have a companion like a parrot all the time on your shoulders but it can be any animal maybe a cat or a crow or you feel adventurous and need the right hat to go with your adventure but you don't have to wear them on your head like those balloons which look amazing just holding them in your hand and even the small animations create the feeling like those balloons will fly away if you don't hold them in your hand. But you don't have to wear those items yourself. You can give them to an armor stand and with a bit of magic you can create amazing decorations. So it doesn't matter which story you want to tell. But to tell a good story, you need the right equipment. And I'm going to show you how you can create your own models. So the first part will be about designing your own 3D model and preparing all the necessary files. The second part will be about the custom model data pack and how you add your own model to Minecraft. What she's saying? Shall we start? So first of all, we need a 3D model software and here we're gonna use Blockbench. So just search for Blockbench. It's a free 3D model software and it's perfect for creating our custom models. And you can either use the desktop version, which I recommend, or you can use the web app. If you use the desktop version, just click on download, choose your operating system, for me it's Windows, and then download the installer. After opening the desktop version of Blockbench, you should see this starting screen. And we're gonna create a Java block item because I'm using Minecraft Java. If you are on bedrock, you're gonna need to create a bedrock block. So first of all, this good to know section is rather important as there is a rotation limit which is set to 22.5 degrees, degree steps. So you can't go like 10 degree or 30 degree, something like that. Just keep that in mind because for smaller models in, it's rather important. So for example, the, the wizard head, I needed to rotate the upper levels and the only degree I could, could use was 22.5 so I had to scale it bigger so the degree didn't look that big. Alright, let's create a new model. So for the file name I gonna uh, create sunglasses and all the rest you can leave as default. The only interesting part here is the texture size. If you want to create a very detailed texture, then uh, scale it up to 32 or 64. But for me and for this case, 16 is enough. Now to move around with the left mouse, we can rotate it and with the right, we can move it. Also up here we have to move and resize which you can toggle with space and then we have the rotate and the pivot tool which you also can toggle with space after clicking the rotate so it always toggles between those two. Alright now let's create our first 
cube, which you can either create with clicking on add cube or with the control and N, we created our first cube. Now for the sun sunglasses, we are going for a very simple design. First of all, we create, so now with toggle space, we can scale it up like this. So what I like to do, I just go with a rough design. We're gonna copy that, we're gonna place it over here. And so then I get a feeling how it may look in the end. Now, when you have your model ready and it's to your liking, you're gonna create the texture for it. So do a control A to select all the cubes. And then we go over here to textures and create a new texture. So like sunglasses, you can add underscore the, the color of your sunglasses if you add different models like a gray a orange or a black one we have a default coloring of the model so now the easiest way so up here to the right you see the edit paint and display so the editing is creating cubes, uh, moving them and resizing them, and also rotating them. The painting is, as the name suggests, painting your model. So we are cre gonna create a orange sunglasses. So up here we have the paintbrush, we have the paint bucket, the eraser and the color picker. So the color picker you also use with Alt. If you click Alt, you switch to the color picker and then back to your brush or to your paint bucket. So to begin with, I like to do uh, a ground coloring with the paint bucket and a very bright one as well then you just hold your left mouse button and color everything like this but some spaces are hidden because of the attachments where the cubes are attached to each other those are not visible and can cannot be painted. For that we're gonna change the fill mode to element. What, what that is doing it paints the whole element. As you can see I'm just clicking the element and the whole element is colored in that color. So what the face fill mode is doing only the face which you like um, just that the surface is colored which is very useful later on but for the base coloring I would switch to the element so your whole element is colored now what I like to do is switch to the smooth brush resize it to let's do a 1 uh, keep the opacity very low and the softness a bit almost yeah to 100 and then I go in steps to create a gradient
Now I added a few reflections here and there, just some white or very bright reflections, and I choose to have a different color for the handles back there, a darker one. And it almost looks like a brass, like some brass sunglasses. So uh, rather cool. Now, if you like your painting, we gonna switch to the display. And the display is the most important part here, how your model is actually displayed in Minecraft. So you have your different slots, like the third person left and right hand, the first person left and right hand, the head, heart, then the ground, how it is displayed on the ground, then how it looks in the frame, and for each step you have also some reference models in here, like with an invisible item, how it will look, or in the using the face you have different inventory displays. So let's start with the third person. And the good thing is that you don't have to do the same uh, modeling for every reference model. I will show you what uh, it means. So first of all, you have to resize it. And if you hold, hold shift before clicking the scale, you can scale all three axes at once which is rather nice if you want to keep the model the same scale all axes throughout. So let's create... Um, okay, that's a good size. Then we have to rotate it like this. And I like to keep it always like a 45 or 90 degree angle. angle. Then let's place it in his hand like that. That looks good. I think that's perfect. And now, if we check out the reference model, they all have the same scaling and positioning, which is rather nice. But for the left hand, we have to do that. Uh, all over again or we can copy that and click on the third on uh, the left third person and then paste it so it pasted all those settings which we previously did for the right hand but of course left hand different uh, x rotation we have to rotate that's yeah we have to rotate the y axis differently and all the rest should be perfect yes now let's check it looks perfect That's it. Now we just have to save the files. In total there should be three files. Now you see up here the, the small dot which indicates that it, it is not saved yet. So if you press Ctrl and S, there we go. That's where we're gonna save it. So I have a folder which is called Minecraft Models. Here I'm gonna create a new folder. It's called Sun Glasses, and I'm going with the bronze. I already have a black one. We're gonna open that folder and save. So as you can see, we're gonna save the PNG, which is the texture file 
save that. Another dialogue opens and here we can, can either choose to save the block bench project to so the BD model or the child block item model which is the JSON file which we're gonna use later. I personally like to save both in the same folder model and then the JSON file all right now we have created our own model our own sunglasses and in the next part I'm gonna show you how you can add them to your Minecraft world I hope this part was helpful to you and if you have any questions just leave a comment I would appreciate a like and a comment as well see you in part of this tutorial. Bye!